If you want to see me go from this monstrosity <laughs> to this, stay tuned. Hey y'all, so welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a wash and retwist all by myself thanks to the quarantine. So I was gonna go away, then I said, let me go ahead and show them what we're working with. You better talk to her before I do, cause I'm already feeling that's up. And you can see that the locks have puffed up and there's a little bit of lint stuck in the locks from the back, but no worries, we'll go ahead and wash that all out. And I know I look a mess, y'all. <laughs> Extraterrestrial. But hey, it happens to the best of us. To lock my hair today, I will be using a homemade aloe vera gel liquid thing that I made myself. So this recipe is really simple. All you need is an aloe plant. You can also add any of your favorite nutrient-rich oils as well as some essential oils for some scent. It also helps to have a cheesecloth or if you have two strainers, that works perfectly fine. So as you see, you can cut it straight down the middle and extract it with a spoon. And go ahead and plop that into the blender. You can also extract the gel by cutting around it. Sometimes you can get a cleaner cut than others. This time I had to do a little finagling to get to the meat. <laughs> so extract as much gel as you want. Go ahead and hit blend. And what I use to strain it is a cheesecloth and a strainer because you don't want all of that um, fibers in it. Otherwise, it'll get stuck in your locks and it'll take forever to get out, especially once it dries because it dries really hard. So you want to make sure you get it all out and you can just pour it onto the cheesecloth and the strainer and cut around that cheesecloth because you can use that again later. So go ahead and strain it and let it drip. You do not want to squeeze it out because all of those aloe fibers will fall right out. So go ahead and blend that up one more time if you so choose, if you wanna make sure that you can get those tiny, tiny pieces out. Once you let that set, the frothiness will subside and you can go ahead and add oils. I added jojoba oil, rose oil, and argan oil, all from Trader Joe's for under 10 bucks. So I just add a few drops arbitrarily <laughs> based off of uh, how much the oils cost pretty much. And I love this rose oil, it has a nice scent, so I didn't even use any essential oils because the rose oil has a nice scent itself. Then I just go ahead and mix that with a spoon and pour the gel into a sealable container so that I can use later. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hop in the shower. Uh, today I'm using black soap to wash my hair and I put on a cap because the black soap is a bar and I didn't want all those small chunks of it that you can see on my forehead to get stuck in my locks. So I went ahead and used a cap to lather my hair up, focusing really on the roots, making sure that, that my scalp is nice and clean. So I went ahead and took off the cap just to make sure I could get a nice rinse and get all of the suds out. But I was very gentle because my locks haven't formed yet so I want to be very careful not to unravel them completely in the shower. You can see the black soap leaves your hair really soft. I love the way it feels. It's amazing. This is my face because I realized that I wasn't recording like I thought I was. But anyways, there's the gel. And I'm just dipping my finger in it and making sure to saturate my lock with it. And I'm twisting in what I thought was clockwise, which was to myself, but to the viewer, it is counterclockwise. So I'm actually twisting in the opposite direction of my hairdresser, but all's well that ends well, y'all. It really doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. If you mess up like this, just take it with a grain of salt and next time be more careful. So I'm going and adding a generous amount of that aloe gel onto each lock, twisting it, in one solid direction and then I clip it at the top and I was clipping it at the bottom just so that 
um, it didn't unravel too much because I noticed that I wasn't getting as tight of as a coil as you know professionals so I wanted to clip it at the bottom to make sure it stays and also so it, there's not too much shrinkage involved and that's pretty much my process y'all just dip twist clip at the top and clip at the bottom I'm just continuing on with that routine and what's interesting is that the ones on the edge can be so little so you can see how much smaller that one is on the left than the other ones on the right and it was kind of weird twisting the small ones because it felt like <laughs> I was harming them or something so I was being very gentle um, even though you can't really tell because it's in fast forward so it looks aggressive but <laughs> I was being gentle um, and I'm nervous about the small ones because you don't want them to like twist off so be very careful if you experience the same thing with your locks and you can just see the shape of the lock that I was showing off you know how you can see the new growth from where it was last twisted and then like it just kind of puffs from there until the end which I'm not really sure why and <laughs> trying to um, avoid all of that but Alas, so just going ahead with that trend. I think my brother had just come in and asked for the chair and I was like, dang, <laughs> gotta hurry this up. <laughs> so it's just me doing another one from the front. at the bottom and it's funny you could kind of see my triangle parts coming back and I wanted to fix the middle part again but you know I couldn't find well honestly I didn't look for <laughs> a rat tail comb to fix the part so I was like you know what we gonna get what we gonna get
these clips can be quite painful y'all especially if you get it um like stuck in your root in the wrong way Woo chile so i went ahead and moved to the floor to sit in front of the mirror and finish this up and this is what i look like completely done and you can see a lot of it puffed right back up I used nearly all of the clips on my right side, so I had hardly any left for the left side. So it was just a little puffy and I was like, eh, whatever. So this is after several hours. I ate dinner, hung out, was on house party with my friends because quarantine. And uh, it was like midnight and I was like, let me go ahead and take these clips out. So this is it from the back. Um, and pretty much the only difference you can really see from before is it's not as stiff still is a little but that's because my locks don't have weight to it but what's cool is that you can actually see the parts in my hair which you could not see before so this is me I tried my best y'all first time I will be doing an update as I get better at this and uh, subscribe like comment whatever share it with your friends thank you for watching bye